Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6, part 17. And it's time for, uh, time for a coffee break, shall we? So let's go do it. We have two challenges to do here. And we have a, another cone challenge, and we have an eco challenge. An economy challenge, which is pretty interesting. Basically, we have to, uh, go as far as we can on one liter of fuel, apparently. And, uh, yeah, we get gold for going 2.818 miles, so yeah. Oh, I'm doing everything in order, Antics. Like, in order of completion, so the licenses will be broken up. Unlike my other LPs, so yeah. Anyways, this ought to be interesting. Ooh, TCS and ABS are off. So this is going to be an interesting little test here. Taking us to the uh, Nurburgring Nordschleife. Hey, that's returning. So yeah, basically we're going to be running pretty low RPMs. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> also can't go off track. That that's that's another thing you shouldn't do. So let's just short shift. Basically, just got to run a very uh very high gear. There's also a two-minute time limit, so you can't just like fucking pill fart away. You actually have to drive. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just go to six gear. Let's just go to six gear. So gotta be mindful of like throttle input. Short shift. So yeah, don't want to go. F don't really want to use full throttle here because uh, that eats up more fuel. So six gear, partial throttle. Etc. Etc. So we got to clear 2.18 miles. We only reached half that goal, but we're on a fast section of the course now, so we're covering a lot more distance here. So if this is a pretty interesting challenge. I like this. Alright, and then over the crest, we're just going to let the car coast. Just no throttle input whatsoever. Just let the car coast down this hill. A little throttle here. And... There we go. We've uh, got the gold target, so let's just go full throttle to the end here. <laughs> Point 0.1 liter left. Just make it around the turn, just for good measure. There we go. So there's that. That's a pretty pretty nifty challenge. I like it. Makes you drive differently, slightly. Overall, it's pretty cool. And stiff. So yeah, there's that. Got 9,000 credits from that. So let's go to our other coffee break, shall we? These coffee breaks are going to be pretty short segments. Because, you know, coffee break. Anyways. So, time for another cone challenge. This time we're in a Lotus Elise. And we have to knock over a bunch of cones. Do we have... Wait. Oh, we have a time limit to knock over cones this time instead of knock overing... Knock overing. Wow. Knocking over... X amount of cones in... Time. Yeah, anyways. So to the GT Arena. So we have to knock over 180 cones in however much time we have. I'm not sure how much time we have. Hey, SRF is locked on. That's probably a good thing considering this is a fucking Elise. So, let's do this. I do not know the route for this. Like, there's definitely gonna be, like, you know, that one route that works perfectly. What that is, I don't fucking know. So we're just gonna wing it. Preferably, you know, a place with a lot of, with any cones, let alone a lot. Oh, why did I shit? I'm really bad at e-brakes. I just loop the car around if I touch the e-brake. Although we're getting somewhere. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Got it. 
completely by accident, but we got it. There we go. That, that was kind of silly. Yeah, drifting is hard with SRF on, that's true. Alright, well, um... There we go. <laughs> we did it. We golded the coffee break. Hooray! So yeah, there's that done. That quick little, uh... Thing there. That was, that was good. So... We're done with that. We're going to move on to one-make races in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more GT6.